vibe coding is trending everywhere. Not new courses, tools like Cursor AI, Bolt, GitHub Copilot, all are getting super popular. Vibe coding na enna? Do we really need to learn that or what will happen to developers after this trend? All of these questions will be answered in this video. So let's get vibed. Hello techies, what is vibe coding? What will happen to developers after this? So to begin with, it all started with a person named Andrej Karpati. He is the ex-director of AA at Tesla. So our Enapanarna, he had posted a video in X saying that for a complete app our build Panada Madriyo without him touching the keyboard. He was just communicating with the AI through voice. At the end, the app literally worked and people liked it and he had posted it as well. Then came this vibe coding trend. Vibe coding na first no? Vibe coding is not how you code, but AI codes from its intuition. So stress and understanding all it needs is to run the application. But if there is any structure, scalability, constraints, obvious no. So with some minimal tool and description, it will be able to build the app for you. Tools involved in vibe coding, GitHub Copilot, your pair programmer who can auto-complete almost everything, Cursor AI, AA first VS Code replacement, Bolt, an AA agent that can build, refactor even debug your applications. Let's do vibe coding with Cursor AI. I'm going to ask Cursor AI to build a minimal notes taking app. So this is how the note taking app looks like. So it is about I'll add a note. At the end it will show in terms of chords like what are all the notes that we have added. Now you Cursor AI for Windows and Romare you download and you can try sign up using your Google account. I'm going to ask Cursor AI to build a notes taking app. Build a notes taking app with React front end and Node.js back end with Express. Use local storage for database. Let it run as a web application app. So in here, there is two options. One is ask every time and another one is auto run. I'm going to give auto run because it's pipe coding. Let's try that and run the command. So sometimes it will ask your approval for something for command execution or something. Matabadi, it won't ask you anything. So you can, you know, vibe with some chill music or maybe you can have your drink or you can take a nap. It will make your app ready. Yes, so it is creating app and it is asking for my approval. I had given it. In here, it is slowly creating everything like backend or server create and front end it is adding and stacking up with files. Let's wait and watch. In here, it is installing all the relevant uh, packages like Axios for HTTP, Endpoint Transaction, React Router DOM and Material UI, Icons Material, React and then the package is automatically detected and installed. Now, you Two hours later. It has finished building our notes taking app. So, we will start the Yes, start the application. We tried starting, but it is saying there is no such package.json. I know the answer, but I'm doing web coding, so I'm going to ask, you know, the coding agent to do. I'm getting this error. So it had figured out an issue. Front end the directory set panna the sariya len chuludu. This is what one of the cons that I was saying. So now yedu me think panna le idle na code panna the kedu me le yeda the issue vanchna na kenan kora thiriyade. So you will lose control as a programmer or coder. We should never lose our control in the application that we are building. One eternity later. So this is how uh, the final output looks like. So let's say I'm adding a note. Today's task, write the code for app one. So it will add the notes. Then tomorrow's task, miss task of writing a blog. So you delete it, not delete at home. That is pretty much about it. In here, if you ask me, did I understand the code or a tech stack behind this application? Definitely not. Will this code work with high scalability or is the performance would be highly optimized? I don't know anything. 
Is this really called coding? Let's decode it. Pros and cons of vibe coding. Pros and pathina, number one, it unblocks beginners. If you are a beginner to the application development, if you don't know how to start building the app, it might be the best option for you, but not in the long run. Number two, incredible speed. Let's say you have a quick demo or if you want to validate some idea that you have in your mind, you can build apps, I would say, in an hour with your complete requirement being refined. Number three, well fit for MVPs and demos. Let's say you are a non-tech founder or if you want to run your idea validation or if you need an MVP, Vibe Coding will outshine you. Cons of Vibe Coding, no skill growth. You can build a complete app using Vibe Coding, but you don't understand anything. You can use tech stack or if there is an issue, how to fix what is the you know, architecture of the application, you don't know anything. So obviously you won't learn anything. Number two, technical depth. A is in the code vulnerable, or scalability, or design patterns. All it needs is to run the application as you ask with its intuition. So there is a huge probability that you are stacking your technical depth for the future. Number three, shallow debugging. If the application gets stuck, the AI also will stop responding to you. If it gets stuck, it will leave you in panic. That's why the wipe coders will get into panic if AI stops responding. Number four, dependency equal to weakness. If you wipe coding or follow up, you would have stopped Googling, you would have stopped questioning or understanding. What is the point in coding? Vibe coding, maybe it is uh, well fit for beginners or maybe some non-technical person. If you are a coder or programmer, you need to understand what you are writing. If you think about it, you would have become a prompt writer, not a coder. Do we really need to learn vibe coding? In our day-to-day coding activity, every percentage of code we own is our every percentage of code is generated. There is an award-winning study from Tantan School of Engineering at New York says that A knowledge generated panna code is hazardous or dangerous. In these criteria, A generated panna code is outdated. That's why we have errors can cause some memory malfunctions as well. So sometimes in the code, it talks to some database which doesn't exist. So here I have Code AA Detector Pro. So what this tool does is, we have a code block and we have AA generate panna code. Ila human edna kodan rada find pana help pano. So I'm gonna to show a quick demo of this tool. This could definitely help your team. To start with, this is the dashboard. So in the dashboard learning patina, you will be able to see either kumunada ning ena generate pana ring if there are anything. So I'm a director reports la poirla. In I'm gonna to paste a code which is completely written by a human. So this is a Java code. So in the under this report session. They support at least five different languages. We have to code Java code. So all you have to do is just click on this analyze button. So this is a little time. If human generated, it is the AI generated. If you don't click on it, you can see it. So it says hardly only two percentage of code is the AI generated. Now let's go back to the reports and let's try giving some AI generated code. Let's do analyze. And if you see the red danger alert or the content flag. See, it has 98 out of 100. So in the lines, the probability is that AI generate In the code AI detector pro use panni, the code AI knowledge generate panni, the find panni, and the code portion you can focus more to fix bugs. Now in the product order, link in the description like check me It depends on what type of developer or software filler you in the money position lurking under the Let's say you are a solopreneur or solo indie hacker or non-tech founder na. You can use this to build your initial prototype or your MVP or some minimal idea validation. But if you are a backend architect or system designer or who builds some critical machine software application or you tech interviews, I would definitely won't suggest you because you are preparing to develop something. Companies will hire only coders, not vibe coders. Will it replace development jobs? Definitely not. AI can build apps, but it can never think like human being. Yana, 
ஹியூமன் பீங்கிட்ட இருக்கிற ஸ்பெஷலே கிரிட்டிக்கல் திங்கிங் இல்லைனா ப்ராப்ளம் சால்விங் ஆர் இஃப் யூ நோ ஹவு டு டிபக் ஹவு டு ஆர்கிடெக்ட் ஆர் ஹவு டு ரீஃபேக்டர் ஹவு டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் யுவர் கோட் ஃப்ளோ ஏ இஸ் நாட் கோனா டு ரீப்ளேஸ் யூ அட் எனி காஸ்ட் பட் இந்த மாதிரி டூல்ஸ் ஆர் டெக்னாலஜிஸில் ஒரு அப்டேட் வரும்போது யூ நீட் டு லேர்ன் ஆர் மேபி யூ நீட் டு பி அவேர் ஆஃப் லைக் ஹவு திஸ் டூல் ஒர்க்ஸ் மேபி யூ கேன் அப்கிரேட் யுவர் செல்ஃப் வித் திஸ் கைண்ட் ஆஃப் மாடர்ன் அட்வான்ஸ்மெண்ட் பட் நெவர் டிபெண்ட் ஆன் இட் ஆர் ரிலே ஆன் இட் டு கன்க்ளூட் வித் வைப் கோடிங் இஸ் ஃபன் பட் இட் இஸ் நாட் அ ரீப்ளேஸ்மெண்ட் ஃபார் சாஃப்ட்வேர் இன்ஜினியரிங் லேர்ன் இட் ஆர் ட்ரை டு அப்கிரேட் யுவர் செல்ஃப் வித் திஸ் கைண்ட் ஆஃப் டூல்ஸ் ஆர் ஜஸ்ட் அப்சர்வ் பண்ணுங்கள் அது எப்படி ஒரு இனிஷியல் ஒரு டெம்ப்ரேட்டை பில்ட் பண்ணுது ஸோ தட் யூ கேன் ஹேவ் சம் நாலேஜ் you have to have a control on your code don't let anyone take control of your code then you are no longer coder or programmer try upskilling in terms of system design and architecture and all because ai tools won't succeed you in those technical skill set recently i was forced to look for a change but i ended up with 30 percentage high check out this video to know more if you are someone preparing for your interview we have ace interview ai is up and running for you with an interesting feature called interactive question bank mode check out this link to prepare for your interview at free of cost i'll see you soon take care bye bye